loving God, loving people. Hello CLC. Hello. We trust that you are well and welcome to Summer from the Sofa. Now during the month of August we'll be having a mixture of Sunday morning meetings at CLC, sofa sermons and a gathering at Coombe Abbey. So let's hope that the sun shines as we enjoy the summer season. Now the theme of our summer sermons is I do like to be beside the seaside where we'll be focusing on some of the stories in the Bible involving sun, sea and picnics. Which reminds me of a great joke. What do you call a sunburned librarian? Well read. <laughs> 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 Today we'll be looking at a time when the Apostle Peter's life was changed by a conversation at the seaside. But first we have a song from the worship team.
the miracle of mercy, Peter. This is Peter. Hey, oh! Whoop! Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey! Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus and he heard all of his teachings. When the time came for Jesus to die and take away the sins of all the world, Jesus had one final meal with his friends. During this meal, Jesus told his followers that the time had come for him to leave them. Huh? Peter asked, where are you going? Jesus told him Peter couldn't follow him now. What? But that he would follow him later. What is that? But Peter said, why can't I come now? I'm ready to die for you. Jesus said, die for me, Peter. Before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even knew me. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the Mount of Olives so Jesus could pray. Along the way, Jesus told his followers that they would all abandon him. Uh -oh. But Peter said, even if everyone else leaves you, I never will. Jesus said, Peter, this very night, before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. But Peter wouldn't believe it and vowed that he would stay with Jesus until the very end. The other disciples vowed the same. Yeah, I Later on that night, Jesus was arrested by men sent by the religious teachers and priests. Peter tried to fight for Jesus and he cut off the ear of one of the guards. Ow. But Jesus healed the guard uh -huh. and went quietly with the captors. All the disciples scattered just as Jesus told them they would. The men led Jesus away to the house of the high priest. Peter and another disciple followed them. Peter came to warm himself by their fire. Uh, hello. <laughs> A servant girl noticed him in the firelight. Huh? Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus' followers. Oh, ma? But Peter denied it for the first time. He said, I don't even know him. <sighs> After a while, someone else looked at him and said, you must be one of them. Oh. Peter for a second time said, no, I'm not. Uh, okay. <sighs> About an hour later, a man who knew the man whose ear Peter cut off said, didn't I see you in the olive grove with Jesus? This must be one of them. He comes from the same place as all of them. Yeah, you're right. But Peter said, no, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Peter heard the crow of the rooster. <laughs> Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Jesus' words flashed through his mind and Peter left the courtyard weeping. Then Jesus died and was placed in a tomb. The disciples heard that he had come back from the dead. Peter even saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was alive again. And Jesus appeared to the disciples to show him that he was alive. Some of Jesus' followers were together when Peter said, I am going fishing. Okay. So they all went out to the sea, but caught nothing all night. At dawn, they saw a man standing on the beach. Oh, hey, over here. The man called out to them and said, have you caught any fish? Nope. The man said, throw out your net on the right side and you'll get some. Uh, okay. So they did, and they couldn't bring in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then one of the men on the boat said to Peter, it's Jesus. When Peter heard that it was Jesus, he swam to the shore while the others pulled in the load to the boat. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them. Mm -hmm, I miss it, man. Got it. Jesus said, come have some breakfast. While they were eating, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, 
You know I love you. So Jesus said, then feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked again, do you love me? Peter said again, yes, you know I love you. And Jesus said, then take care of my sheep. And then a third time, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. So he said, you know everything. You know that I love you. So Jesus said one last time, then feed my sheep. And so Peter went on to feed Jesus' sheep by helping establish the church and by writing books that we can now read in the Bible. And though he denied Jesus, he was forgiven. And many came to know the love and forgiveness of Jesus through Peter. Hi folks, I love the story of the miraculous catch of fish in John chapter 21. It's a story of hope and restoration. At the seashore in Galilee, Peter confronts his failures and Jesus is able to restore him and start him on the path of becoming a stronger leader as a result. Peter would have remembered another miraculous catch of fish three years earlier, which is recorded in Luke chapter 5 when Jesus first called him and he left everything to follow Jesus. With the catch of fish after Peter's failure, Jesus is saying, I've not changed and I'm still calling you to follow me. Do you remember the joy, hope and expectation when you first became a Christian? Do you remember how you first left everything to follow him? The great news is he hasn't changed, even if you have failed. Lamentations chapter three, verses 22 and 23 says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Peter had breakfast with Jesus, and as he did so, he found himself looking into a charcoal fire. His face dropped as he remembered the last time he was warming himself around a charcoal fire, just a few weeks earlier, when he denied Jesus. Senses can trigger memories. The smell of carbolic soap reminds me of junior school. When I eat lemon bonbons, I think of trips to the football with my dad. When I hear the music of the specials, it takes me right back to my teenage years. And when Peter was at the fire that day, it reminded him of past failure. There were three denials before a fire, and now there are three questions before a fire. The habit God, God has of asking us to face our shortcomings with a question, rather than directly accusing us, is common in the Bible. From where are you to Adam in the book of Genesis when he disobeyed God, to what are you doing here, Elijah, as he hid disappointed in a cave, to do you love me to Peter, who was one of Jesus' closest friends, but in his hour of need he'd abandoned him. Jesus speaks to Peter to heal him from past failure. Jesus deliberately brings Peter's denial to his mind to bring him to a place of repentance and restoration. The grace of God in this story is amazing. Rather than being put off by Peter's denial and failure, Jesus not only restores Peter, but he recommissions him. The great news for Peter and for us is that the call is greater than the fall. Jesus doesn't give up on us as easy as we give up on ourselves. The boxer Muhammad Ali said, inside of a ring or out, ain't nothing wrong with being down, it's staying down that's wrong. Over the years, I've been greatly encouraged by Proverbs 24 and verse 16, which says, For even though a righteous person falls seven times, they rise again. Keep trusting God. Rise up in the name of Jesus and stand firm. The Lord bless you. Thanks, John. Now, next week, the 8th of August, we'll be meeting for a service at CLC at 11 o'clock, and we hope that you can make it. I'll just speak a blessing to close from the Bible. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith. Be courageous, be strong, do everything in love. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. And that's all for now. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Loving God, loving people.